Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. We're still in Florence this week, going to do some exploring of some of the museums and best attractions that Florence has to offer. But first, we have some quick business that we need to take care of. So right now, we just got to a tattoo shop in Florence because Nick and I are gonna be getting another matching tattoo to celebrate our marriage and being here in Florence. Yeah, I'm very nervous, per usual. Per usual, guess who's going first? Me. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Uh, looks good. Feeling better. Now we're done here. Now it's my turn. To me, this is almost a relaxing spa experience. What? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> the artwork in here really elevated the studio's vibe. I really enjoyed it. Here's the final result of our tattoos. We just got home from getting our tattoo, so we're gonna rest up a little bit, and then tomorrow morning we're going to go see the Duomo. And all the museums, and we'll bring you along for it. So See you then. See you tomorrow. Ciao. So it begins. Climbing up 463 steps to the door now. Let's go. Is that okay? I'm not good. I think we've gone up a little bit. This is not even a While it was exhausting hiking up the stairs, these windows provided us with some fresh air. So here we are. Climbing up the steps of the cathedral of the Duomo. We're about probably like a hundred steps up, maybe. I don't know. It's exhausting. I'll just tell you when we get to the as we went higher and higher and climbed more stairs, we got hotter and needed to take a break. So this is like what she was talking about. We're like walking between the two layers of the dome. Mm -hmm. So this is like that empty area. That's between us. The outer and inner part of the dome. And we're walking on a staircase in between it. Snake is just mad because I come prepared everywhere and I bring my fan. 
I've spent one too many hot summers in Europe, so I come prepared. I don't care if I look like it feels like I do. It's me. It's very tight in here. Oh. Oh. Climbing for so long, we were greeted with this sight, which was simply amazing. So we walked up all those stairs and two different flights of staircases through the lining of the dome, and now we're walking across the giant octagon place that's like the middle of the church, and we're gonna be heading outside. As you can see, we're in between the two layers of the dome and walking up the side of it. I'm like an angel. Mind the gap. I'm five foot eight. <laughs> Duck your head, Nick. This was the last staircase before the actual roof of the dome. We finally made it. So we made it to the top of the Duomo in one piece. Sweating a little bit, it's all the stairs, but uh, after this, we're gonna head over to the Uffizi. You could get a 360 view of the entire city from up here, and it was amazing. starting to carefully make our way down to our next destination. We made it to the bottom and we totally realized we forgot to give you some tips on whether when you do come here. Uh, tip number one, order your tickets ahead of time. Uh, we went through an Airbnb experience and she ordered all of our tickets today uh, ahead of time. We got to avoid uh, these giant lines, which probably would have taken us at least an hour. So tip number one again, order your tickets online. Tip number two, make sure that you bring water uh, you're definitely going to need it from the climb up and when you go down. We, I think, chugged two bottles of water. We probably should have brought more. But again, tip number two is bring water. And tip number three, if you can bring a portable fan, it can be very hot up there. Today we expected there to be uh, quite a bit of wind and there wasn't. This is Anna's fan. Uh, we'll put it in the link in the description below. Um, but yeah, bring a fan. Cool yourself off. We made our way over to the Uffizi Gallery where there's a ton of classical art. Rather than telling you about everything we saw, let's just show you some of the highlights.
From here, we headed over to our next museum, where we were actually able to skip the line here as well. Before we saw the main attraction, we got to see a few other pieces from roughly around the same time period, which was nice. So after a long day of museums and hiking, basically, we finally made it to our final destination, which is the David. Cut his head off. I cut his head off. <laughs> we'll take a close up look. Yeah. I've seen the David before the last time I was here, but Nick was shocked at how absolutely huge he was in person. <laughs> All these beautiful sculptures in here, you're the most beautiful. Thanks, babe. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> Kiss ass. Walking through the last part of the museum, we got to see a ton of more busts and artwork as well before heading home to pack our bags. This is the reality of what it looks like when we pack. It's almost like a hurricane hits our room. We're walking to the train station to go to Venice to round out our honeymoon trip. Me, dying right now. Just walking 20 minutes, this is probably shaky as but we're pulling our suitcases all around. You know, no big deal. 20 minutes of this, I'm getting nauseous just looking at myself. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe and catch us in our next video when we travel to Venice. See you then. This is Anna, post night shift. Are you kidding me? With her lovely husband. Hey. <laughs> By her side. Oh my dad, what night shift.